I'm going to solve a stoichiometry problem for you here. So stoichiometry deals again with how much can you make from a chemical recipe. Here's our chemical recipe we're going to use for practice here. We have a nitrogen gas molecule reacting with three hydrogen gas molecules to make two ammonia. So again, this is our given chemical reaction. Well, what if you went to the chemical pantry and found that you had 56 grams of nitrogen and 18 grams of hydrogen? How many grams of ammonia could you make? To do this, we need to remind ourselves that we can't just compare masses. We don't know how much we can make. We need to turn these into moles. So the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to turn these masses into how many moles of each one we have. Well, how do we do that? We're going to take the mass that we're given here and we're going to divide by what the mass of one is. So we have 56 grams of nitrogen. Well, how much does nitrogen weigh? On the periodic table, every nitrogen has a mass of 14. So we have two of them. So the mass of nitrogen is 28. So how many moles of nitrogen do we have? 56 grams divided by 28 grams per mole. We have a total of 2 moles of nitrogen. How many moles of hydrogen do we have? Well, hydrogen has a mass of periodic table of 1. We have 2 of those. So that's a total mass of 2. 18 divided by oh, 2 is 9. We have 9 moles of hydrogen gas available. So, now we've calculated how many moles of each one we have. Now we can look at the chemical recipe and figure out well, which one do we run out of first. The recipe calls for 1 nitrogen and 3 hydrogens. We have 2 nitrogen moles and 9 hydrogen moles. So what we're going to do is we're going to figure out which one runs out first by looking at the ratio we have here. And we have 2 and 2 is available. We have 9 H2 is available. Which number is bigger? 2 over 1 or 9 over 3? Well 9 over 3 is bigger than 2 over 1. Because of this, we would say that the hydrogen is the excess reagent. We have plenty of hydrogen. We don't need to worry about running out of this one. We will run out of nitrogen though. So because we have figured out that we have less nitrogen available, we're going to use this to determine how much of this we can make. Again, it's equivalent to saying we have two eggs and 50 bags of sugar at the house. How many cookies can we make? The eggs are going to run out first, so we're going to use the eggs to determine how much we can make. So, we figured out what our limiting reagent was. Now we're going to be able to solve for how much ammonia can we make. From the balance recipe, we see that one nitrogen gas is able to make two ammonias. So if we have two nitrogen gas, how many, can we make, how many ammonias can we make? Two over one equals x over two. X is going to be four moles. We're able to make four moles of ammonia. Well, how much is this actually? What mass would four moles of ammonia have? We can figure this out by multiplying four moles times the mass of each one of these. If we make four of them and we know what the mass of one is, we can figure out what the total mass is. So, four moles times the mass of ammonia. Ammonia has a mass of, well, we have one nitrogen, that's 14. We have three hydrogens, each one has a mass of one. That equals 17. So 4 moles times 17 grams per mole is going to be 68 grams of ammonia. So that would be the final answer. From 56 grams of nitrogen and 18 grams of hydrogen, we can make 68 grams of ammonia.